Speaking of the top dog, he's in the headlines this week, Michael. He was in the headlines around the New South Wales Rugby League. Now, Freddie Fittler, he presented to the New South Wales Rugby League board <laughs> on Friday. I can, I can hear him already. Yeah. He presented to the New South Wales Rugby League on Friday for his plans of the future to potentially get an extension there. Now, that involves the changing of the coaching staff. We know Danny Badiris is not going to be involved next year. Greg Alexander has moved aside. And I think uh, there were a couple others. Maybe Joey perhaps has a, a lesser role in the Blues next year. Paul McGregor moving on. Now, talk also is around Phil Gould potentially being part of Freddie's coaching staff or set up next year. We have him here. I just want to get your thoughts, Gus, on A, the motivation about being involved and B, your relationship with Freddie and how much you want to do this for him. Well, I can't remember any time in my life where I asked Brad Fittler to do something. He didn't say yes straight away and went and done it. And I've tried to repay that. He's never really asked for much in his life. And he rang me last week to say that Greg Alexander was stepping down from his role, that he'd like me to get involved um, with the Blues. And I think it's only simply to talk to him and, and uh, whatever he needs. I, he really didn't explain what he wanted me to do, but... And I'm certainly not chasing a job. I'm not looking for a job. He was talking about a paid position. I'm certainly not chasing a paid position with New South Wales Rugby League. For me, it's just if Brad Fittler needs something from me, I'll say yes. He hasn't really told me what that is yet. He's yet to be appointed. and uh, That comes this week. And then he spoke to me about his plans for other people he's going to bring in to the coaching staff and in the inner sanctum around Origin, which I think is really important. And it's important for the Blues because they've lost two in a row and... Um, you can't go on like that. They've got to get a win. He needs a win. One of the one of the names that was mentioned was Matt King, the assistant to Sydney Roosters, going in and helping him, him as well. There's a meeting on Wednesday with the board to decide whether or not Brad Fittler continues. He he put forward uh, details around his suggestions, like guys like us and Matt King, what their roles would be today to the New South Wales Rugby League. So that will get nutted out over the next you know, 48 hours before they make a decision. But as Gus said, like, uh, Freddie has shown that he's willing to make changes and having someone of Gus's calibre, I imagine, would be something that the New South Wales Rugby League would look definitely look favourably. Michael, as this pr process is happening, are there actual other contenders going in there and, and no, putting their hands up? No, definitely not. I think Adam, as, as a mark of respect for Brad Fittler, there, there isn't anyone else throwing their hat out at the moment because they know what he has done for the state. They know what he has done as a coach and as a player and no-one's going to go out there and try and take his job. So uh, Brad Fittler wants the job. The New South Wales Rugby League, I imagine... We'll give him the job. I think it'll come down to more tenure. I don't think there's any doubt that Brad Fittler will probably be appointed, but for how long? Uh, I think he was looking for a couple of years and um, they've lost two in a row. It'd be hard to keep your job if you've lost three in a row. Yep. So, and, and that's the nature of the beast. He understands that and everyone understands it. Um, that's his wish list, but whether or not New South Wales are pointing for it uh, longer than one more year would be interesting. Gus, do you think it's a positive or a negative the fact that no one else has applied for the job? I mean, I, I agree with you, and I've said it before, I think no one, no one has, would ever go behind Freddie's back and try to get the job whether well, he's there. Now, obviously he hasn't been sat there, hasn't, he hasn't stood aside. Do you think it's a positive or a negative that no one else has gone for it? Well, out of the mark of respect to Brad Fittler, I wouldn't expect anyone to apply no, for the I, job I, I until agree. he actually stood down from it. Um, and I don't think he deserves to lose the job after what he's done, you know, but it's certainly an important year coming up for them. If they were to lose next year, it would be three in a row and um, it would hard to be contending then you need to go on in your tenure from there and they'd need to find someone else. I'm not sure of the qualifications now, whether or not the coaches that are coaching in Clubland can do these jobs, which narrows the field of people that would be available to do it. Uh, and Brad with his team and the experience. And I think there'll be a more collective effort go into it this year and... Some of the names he's spoken to me about he'd like to get back involved sound very promising to me, so uh, I think it'll be a, a, a nice change.